Hey guys, welcome back to Bury the Hatchet. Uh, this is episode 10 now. Um, and yeah, we, we've played two games since we last year, and today we are playing two more games. Um, so we played South Liverpool when you were last year in the FFA's first round, hammered it 4 0. Uh, we then went on to play Warrington Rylands. Uh, we won 2 1, that was pretty good. And then we played a Wick Church and we lost 1 0. And Charlie Jefferson King got a slight injury that day. Um, but he is back and uh, he seems okay. Um, so, something else you might, you know, something else has happened um, in that time that you were away. Um, we now have the club badge in there. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, we, we have it for all of the teams now, so that's that's nice. We, we have the actual Burry logo, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, today we take on Burscott, um in the Northwest Counties Premier Division, and Sawbridgeworth Town in the FA Bay's second round. So there's a lot to go on with. Um, no more job offers yet which good I guess in a way um, but you know it's always nice to be wanted um, I, don't, I don't think I am wanted no yeah Bar Barskoff were at the beginning of the season one of the uh, top contenders to be finishing first in the league now they're nowhere near uh, season preview now has them down as 10th um, we ourselves are second to Kendall. Um, Kendall currently sitting in Kendall currently sitting in eighth. So I really I don't think that the season preview is gonna do any good um, at the moment. So let's let's crack on. Um, let's play some more games. Okay, so we've kicked off um, so far so quiet. Um, I've also got a new skin which Obviously, I need to play around with. Um, not quite loving it yet. We'll, uh, I'll play around with this at some point. Um, but yeah, we're, we're now 25 minutes gone. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bursk off with the first highlight. Denson. Okay. All right. Got a little bit nervous there when Hunt headed that ball. I thought he was probably going to go in the back of the net. Didn't, thankfully. But yeah, it's all in all relatively quiet first half. Um, we've had a fair amount of shots, not many on target. Um, and another highlight for Berskoff here, with only 30 seconds till half time. And Isherwood saves it. Beautiful. But that would be their first shot on target. Um, looking at the XG, we should be scoring. We, we should have scored. Essentially, we don't have any click of chances. Yeah. Um, we have got possession. Uh, pass completed rate is very good. Happy with that. Um, our average rating is pretty poor, though. Um, they're probably still kind of. They're still getting out into that groove after their loss last uh, match. Um, Maybe they just need a bit of a kick up the backside to get them there. Um, but what we are seeing is both the inside forwards playing terribly and with only 20 minutes left to go, we have to do something. Um, but David, you're chipping down. You're off Bennett Tindall. Um, I don't really want to, but Madavid, you're going to have to go on as a winger. Um, who else is playing awfully? Oh, Valentine. Get Jenkinson on instead. And. Oh, what else do we do? What else can we do? Uh, Cameron Healy off for Arthur. And let's see what happens. Okay. Not worried. Not worried whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so 15 minutes left of the game. And nothing's happening. Uh, I'm just waiting for a football manager to do that thing 
where in the 90th minute they get a goal. Kyan Taylor very nearly He's tired. The war's tired. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the game over. That was so boring. Um, we've got to do better in the FAA's second round. Because if we have another performance like that, we're probably going to go out, in all honesty. That's... We cannot sustain that kind of football. Um, that actually does see us drop down the table. Um, that now puts us in second place, one point behind Runcorn Town, who also have the better goal difference. Um, that's not good. Uh, we're actually tied with Vauxhall, and Vauxhall are in the in the top three in the season preview, so they should be challenging. So I'm going to skip forward to the next match. Um, I'll see you in a minute and hopefully we can play better. Okay, welcome back. Today is the game against Sawbridgeworth Town. A um, couple of tweaks to the lineup. Yes, we're going to continue with our 4 3 3 formation. Um, this time, Gilboy and Taylor as advanced playmakers, and Arthur as ball winning midfielder. Um, I've also changed the out of possession instructions to force the uh, play inside of us rather than outside. Um, I feel like our uh, that suits us better in terms of being able to try and win back possession if players are having to funnel down towards our midfielders and defenders instead of to the wing backs. That we probably should have done that a long time ago. Um, so yeah, without without any further kind of waiting, um, obviously Cameron Healy's been swapped out for Arthur, and we've now got Ed in goal instead of Liam Isherwood. Um, people complaining that they don't know how to play the role. That's fine. They've been playing all season. They learn by now. Um, obviously, we didn't have the best of games last time, um, so we need to have a better game this time. Otherwise, this episode is going to be very short. Um, not really motivating the team today. Um, probably a little bit nervous, especially after my conversation with them. Decided to hold a team meeting. They did not enjoy what I had to say. Anyway, um, six minutes in, seven minutes, we have a highlight. Gilboy out to Chippendale. And Chippendale, oh, what? Hang on. Um, Jepson King had with a poor pass, but we still made something of it, so that's good. Chippendale scores. That is what we want to see more of. Um, well, yeah, to be honest, anything, seeing anything is an improvement compared to the last match. I maybe would have considered Chippendale potentially offside, but maybe not. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Too busy talking about what happened last time uh, when there's a match in front of me right now. Anyway, Whitehead to Chippendale, who passed back and good clearance there by their keeper. Oh, Taylor hits the crossbar. My damn it, wins the ball back though and just squanders it. What a waste there. Um, and the highlight ends. And another throw in. Um, this match could be a, could be good for morale if we can continue the win. Um, yeah, if we can secure a win here, maybe team morale will improve. But uh, what was that? I was going to say they're on the, the counter attack. Um, and maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. But if they're going to put balls up the pitch like that, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Anyway, we are now on the attack. Madeira has the ball. Tackled too easily. Um, but what a cross. Can Chippendale do anything? Oh, he can't. Oh, Moncrief. That was such a good opportunity. Wasted. But already, in the first 25 minutes of this match, we are far, we are far outperforming ourselves. The, what am I even saying? We're performing far better than we were last time out. Anyway, but damn it, crosses. And again, Chippendale. Oh, uh, 
can Chippendale play as a striker? He can't, apparently. Well, to be fair, he's not really got the uh, attributes of a striker either. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. Never mind then. Anyway, uh, on another highlight, and that that's just a, I think, a boring one. But you know, just while we're making tactical changes, which I don't actually make. So here we go. Here's a proper highlight. Uh, Collins with the goal kick, and they look to be on the attack. Well, this could be a highlight for us again. Chip in there with the ball. Jefferson King lumps up the pitch. Moncrief has to finish. He's he's playing well, but he's just not scoring. And look at that actually, two point four six in thirty five minutes. Who who was that? Hunt. There was a golden opportunity there for Hunt to just move forward a little bit and just boot the ball in the back of the net. Just just take a shot. I saw him asking. It doesn't have to be on target, just take a shot, huh? Gotta be careful not to say that too quickly. Um, anyway, Valentine with a yellow card at 70 ease off tackles. We're gonna miss a goal. Chippendale, hat trick. How is he how is he scoring more goals than Moncrief? I mean, honestly. I am I've got half a mind to actually take Moncrief off. He's just not been scoring in the last couple of games. Um, and I feel like some time on the bench would maybe make him see things in a different light. I.e. he needs to get out there and score goals. Because at the moment I'm paying him to, to do nothing, basically. And I can't remember how much I pay him, but whatever I'm paying him right now is too much. But you know, if it, if if we hold on to this three 0 um, scoreline, then we're through to the next round. Um, the draw actually happened today, so we don't know. Who, we do know who we could be playing, uh, but obviously we need them to play their match before we find out which team we're going to be playing. Um, and Valentine lumps the ball up unsuccessfully, finds their defenders, and what a nice header by Whitehead. Um, but yeah, th this t could just be a goal for them. Neil, Ed, nicely grabs that. Um, that was kind of a pointless highlight there, really. Uh, but yeah, twenty-five-ish minutes left. Let's let's make some subs. Like I said, Moncrief's coming off. I'm I'm putting Joe Breton. Uh, see what he can do. Gilboy, let's put Healy on. And I think we'll wait for our next sub a little bit later and we'll see if we can kill some time uh, later on. Uh, let's, let's give the boys a little bit of praise. They're doing, they're doing pretty damn well considering how they've been playing the last three or four games. Um, it seems to be one off, one on type of uh, kind of thing. Um, we win one, we lose one, we win one, we lose one. And I'm really sorry about that pop up. Um, I need to switch that off. Uh, Jepson King off for Jenkinson. That should be the final sub of the game. Just to kill a little bit of time. Uh, but McDowell is bringing the ball forward. Can he cross into the area? No, goes out for a corner. Um, but yeah, that that's the game. We've uh, we've won three nil. So uh, yeah, that that was much better than the last one. So this episode is probably going to be relatively short. Not much happened in the first game, which kind of sucked. Um, and that is very annoying pop-up. Um, yeah, so we, we win FFA's uh, second round. So who do we play? We get Corn. Yes, that meat substitute the football players probably love um, they're in the county leagues two not quite sure 
where that is in relation to us. Um, doesn't matter because fingers crossed we can hammer them uh, like we did with Solworth Town. Um, there's three grand into our bank account. We do not want extra time. Um, chipping down on form, he was superb. Pat him on the shoulder. You were great last match. Um, and have at it. Um, we're still making a loss this month. This season has been pretty bad for our bank account. Um, so yeah, hopefully this kind of form comes to an end very quickly. We really need to win the league. Uh, but yeah, in, in when we'll be back, we will come back for our good friends, Lower Breck, on the 1st of January. And if we're still in the FA Vays, we'll come back and we'll do that as well. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, comment, dislike, uh, ring the notification bell, and just whatever. Share it with your friends, why not? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.